What is the worst thing you have found on someone else's phone? Not me but a bartender friend of mine found a phone unlocked on the bar and couldn't locate its owner so he punched in his own phone number and found out he was already in the contacts as, Creepy J. Videos of my then husband descending into madness. He had gotten a traumatic brain injury after which he took loads of videos of him going crazy. Last one he was covered in vomit arguing with his reflection and had no idea it was him. 100% do not suggest watching someone you love like that. Trauma. My ex-wife's. Found a recipient for potato salad with raisins in it. My dad died about a year and a half ago in a car accident. I went through his phone after he passed and he had taken pictures of the bay near where he grew up the morning of his accident and he had a half-written text message to me making plans to see me for Christmas. It's not like those things are shocking or awful in the way CP or whatever is, but it's shocking and awful in a way that it's a view into a life cut short. It was two days before Christmas and he was reminiscing about his childhood and planning with his children and it all just ended in the blink of an eye. It guts me every time I think about it. My ex-wife's iTunes on her iPhone was actually my account that I set up for my iPad. She was just too lazy to set up a new account. So I told her if she did that that her iMessages would come through to my iPad. She said she didn't care, until she started cheating on me and I got the texts directly to my iPad. Hanging out with a work friend after work. We would have a couple beers at this restaurant and he would scroll Tinder and I would help him decide on which way to swipe. Until we saw my wife, now ex-wife. That was not a great time. Edit this exploded lol. Nine years on Reddit now over half my karma is just this comment. Thank you for the support of DMS. I found out my wife is dying, after I read messages exchanged between her and her sister. I guess she was too afraid to tell me just yet. I waited till she wanted to tell me on her own before I told her that I had seen the messages and had already known. Found texts from my GF secret lover. This was in the early 2000s, when phones were still super primitive. Her phone had that snake game on it, and mine didn't, so I would occasionally use her phone to play snake. The game would get interrupted if someone texted though. And sure enough, while I was playing, her secret lover texted her. I saw it, and then couldn't help myself and had to read the rest of the texts between them. Absolutely crushed me. Mild compared to a lot of other people's stuff posted here, I know. An old friend of mine called me frantically requesting I come to his house because he needed a witness. He feared his then wife was about to call cops and accuse him of domestic violence. I could hear her in the background screaming Jose don't believe him. I don't live close but I was concerned and drove over. They live in a cul-de-sac and I could hear the screaming before I got in the door. When I opened the door, he was at the top of the stairs trying to explain she is crazy. She was trying to explain that my friend is a pervert. So, of course my mediate thought was he must have been caught fucking around. Well to my shock and disappointment, she managed to yank the phone from him and she immediately started scrolling to pictures. She had to show me to convince me that my buddy I have known for over a decade is a pervert. She showed a dick pic. I was like gross but okay. He started yelling that I SNT me. Which made me even more uncomfortable because now my buddy is admitting to receiving dick pics. No. He had taken the picture and had sent it to his wife's co-worker's daughter. She was 12. I had always. Believed that had I ever confronted a child predator, that I would fuck him up. I didn't, instead I made sure his wife was able to call the cops without him trying to stop her. The end. A picture of my sex toy up his butt sent to another girl. So much twists in so little words. My nudes that I did not send to them. CP. He's in jail now. When I worked Geek Squad two of my co-workers had found CP on a computer given to us for maintenance. That's always a fun call to make. It's not all that uncommon, sadly. In my short time at a PC repair shop, for the general public, if I found porn saved locally on someone's machine, it may not have been the majority of the time but it wasn't far off that it was child porn. Partially because if it's labeled, porn, I'm probably not opening it, and pedophiles don't usually just label their shit with what it is. And you can tell how common it is by how calmly and smoothly they handle it when you report it to the cops. One of the only good things about my boss at that repair shop was that when something like that happened, He'd give you time off, 
immediately and check in with you every day until you were back working, to see if you were holding up okay or needed more help. I have a feeling that this and similar incidences are partial reasons why most large device repair facilities will wipe the drives no matter what kind of repair they're doing. It may not be needed 100% of the time but it works often and you don't have to deal with whatever evil the motherfucker you're sending it back to gets up to. Emails of my ex trying to meet women from Craigslist for sex. My sister found these two weeks before their wedding. She was sad of course but surprisingly calm and collected. She looked at me a day or two later and said, I was about to make the biggest mistake of my life. I was 15. Found messages on my mother's phone about her failed suicide attempts and how she never wanted her kids to know about them. Didn't speak a word about what I saw, internalized the fear. She successfully took her life less than a year later. Dude came to the job site to complain. Asks the number for the supervisor and when he pulls out his phone his screensaver is a guy holding a huge dick. I don't know if it was his own, or someone else's, but damn. Edit. Oh good. My highest upvoted comment about some random guy's dick pic. Lovely. Photos of my own diary. My ex-boyfriend had taken pictures of every entry from when I was a kid and sent them all to my parents. What? That is fucking bizarre. How did your parents react? I feel like if someone did this to me, my parents would be like why the fuck are you sending me this? I'm a dental hygienist. A long-term patient of mine wanted to show me pictures of he his fiancé's new puppy. Instead, he showed me two dick pics. Lol I've had the other side of this coin. A friend brought his new girlfriend over to a party and she said he'd shown her pictures of my dog and that she loves them and asked me to show her more. I did. Then she pulls her phone out to show me her dog and boom the first picture up was a picture of her boobs. She panicked and hit back. I had no reaction so when she looked at me to see if I had seen I was looking at my phone to spare her the embarrassment on her first meeting of his friends. My boss telling his second in command all the things he loved doing to her during their affair. Her phone was just on the table and up popped the message. I wish I'd not read it. I wish I'd not read it should have taken a picture. You could be third in command with your feet up on a desk. An app that allowed a married man to control a vibrator my GF was wearing while around me. I found I love you texts on my mom's phone to my boyfriend's dad, while my parents were still together. Edit for context. My boyfriend and I have been together since 2017. This whole ordeal happened 2020. My BF and I are waiting it out until we move out of town lol. I did confront my mom and she told me to keep it a secret until after she got back from camping. Camping spot was 10 minutes away from boyfriend's dad's house by the way, they separated shortly after. But then my mom and my boyfriend's dad moved in together while my dad, boyfriend and I were all living in the same house. I was excited to tell the story about how my date handed me his phone to show me a picture, and it was followed by about 10 dick pics of different dicks. He was a rugby player and apparently he left his phone on the bus. This is what his teammates did to his unattended phone. But after reading all these terrible stories I am not sure this was the kind of story you were looking for edit. Thanks for all the awards and updates. I wasn't expecting this comment to blow up the way it did. Also. Maybe he was gay, I don't know. He was a crazy guy, didn't give too many fucks about anything. All I know is that in rugby, hardly anything is ever gay. Found a video on my boyfriend's phone in high school of him and his friends stomping a litter of raccoons one by one, making the others roll in the gore. It was one of the most wicked things I've seen someone do. Promptly broke up after that. Damn I came here to hear stories of infidelity. But learn some people are fucking monsters. You saw the raisin potato salad too huh? Found my teenage daughter's in-process application to attend the University of Oklahoma. When I worked at a movie theater a customer came up to scan his digital ticket. He accidentally swipes the image of the ticket into a really high def pic of a vagina with presumably cum coming out of it. All he could say was oh wow. Uh how did that get there? Ha ha. I had just finished having sex with my GF at the time. Literally, right after finishing she turns over and sends a text then got up to go to the bathroom. The person responded with, so you finished up with him, when is he leaving? 
It was the dude she was cheating on me with. Looking at this optimistically. At least you went first. There's so many comments here so mine will probably be buried but I'm going to share anyway. One day I came home after a night out to my boyfriend. He knew I was going to be up super late and so he had left his laptop out for me to watch Netflix when I came back. I was watching Friends or something when, around 5 a.m., a text message popped up on his screen. It said, yeah, but now you're dating her. I clicked the text immediately and it opened up to a conversation he had been having with his ex-girlfriend. For months. It began before he and I even started dating, when we were still in the talking phases. Every secret I had ever told him, every trauma I had ever disclosed to him, he had texted to her while I was sleeping, to make fun of me and call me names. Listen to what the crazy bitch told me today, he would say, telling her all the details of the extremely private things I had told him, all while telling me to my face he loved me, wanted to marry me, couldn't wait to grow old with me, etc. It took years for me to trust someone and date again after that. It was so, so hard to open up again but lots of therapy helped. I was a personal assistant to an older gay man who ran a fancy event planning company. He was technologically challenged so he eventually asked me to manage his emails, calls, schedule, etc. One day he asked me to help him with his personal laptop because it has a bunch of viruses, or something, his computer was 90% porn. His search terms and videos of choice were old young gay sex stuff and he was basically searching my physical description gay sex into porn sites. I was weirded out but kept working for him until he passed away. He may have been a weirdo but he was a good boss and in the end I considered him a good friend. Everyone has weird kinks in my opinion and he was never inappropriate with me so I didn't see it as a deal breaker. My boss was computer illiterate. One day she asks me to help fix something on her cell phone. She did this from time to time. Fix her phone. Fix her kid's phone. Whatever. One day she asks me to change how messages appear. She gives me a phone and in her messages is a message that says, Stay the fuck away from my husband. You were just a whore for him to fuck and I won't let you hurt our family anymore. Not entirely sure if she sent it or received it. Either way, yikes. Pics of me sleeping with their dick next to my face. Most disgusting shit ever. Oh and maybe an honorable mention, pics of my ex cheating on me. Before we were dating, my girlfriend showed me a conversation from Tinder with a guy who wanted to pay to touch, sniff her feet. She never actually met up with him, but would kinda string him along a bit because the messages were funny to read. Anyway I scrolled down just a little and he said something like, 1k to sniff your butthole. I definitely wouldn't be tempted by a quick 1k. It's just smells. You called? Had a client showing me a picture of a haircut they wanted. I was hovering behind him as he was flipping through pictures and the next one to the haircut ended up being what I assume was him, but his asshole wide open and googly eyes on his cheeks, bent over like the autocock meme. This was the day I learned never look at the phone until the customer has their picture up and ready. Damn. A lot of y'all seem to have some really strong feelings about Club Penguin. I used to work with a chick who took her husband's phone to work by mistake. While showing a bunch of people photos of her kids she stumbled across a nature folder and clicked it. The folder was full of CP. I watched as the blood drained out of her face and she became visibly pale and then sick, she threw up. I've never seen someone's emotion skin color change up so quick. It scared the shit out of me. I remember hearing her scream cry while talking to the cops. When her husband arrived with her phone they slapped the cuffs on him and he confessed on the spot. I found a phone and looked through the photos and found a picture of the guy holding his dick but it was next to one of those tiny cans of coke you get on planes I have no idea why but I assume he was trying to trick someone into thinking his dick was a regular coke can size. My best friend had been dating a girl. One day I had his phone as I was fixing it for him. I was a bit of an entrepreneur. Maybe not, guy in school I always was fixing things, selling stuff and so on. Anyway after I fixed the screen on his phone and camera I went through some motions on his phone to make sure the screen still worked I took a photo and then went to photos and saw everything was good. I accidentally swiped again and saw a video. He used to make lots of parkour videos back in the day, so I assumed it was one of those. It wasn't, it was a video of him forcing himself onto his girlfriend, and there were loads. 
All of them she looked like she was crying in the brief snapshots I saw of them. I deleted them all off his phone and told him I had to wipe his phone because of some stupid reason. He was a really angry and asked if he could get his videos back. His girlfriend at the time suddenly looked really relieved and quickly ran away. He stood there for a moment before turning to me and asked if I wiped his phone on purpose, I said I did. I saw and that we are no longer friends. Turns out he used those videos to control her. I never considered myself to be tough or strong but I felt quite proud at the time. Part of me wishes I'd hit him, but I think I saved someone maybe? We never spoke again he moved schools as I think he was afraid I'd tell people. Edit I'd like to say I should have contacted the police and made sure I had her consent. I'm also not saying what I did back then was the right course at all. I was a teenager, not an excuse at all, but I certainly didn't handle it how it should have been handled. Edit 2 Okay I'm getting a lot of messages about this story being fake, I helped the criminal out. Didn't really expect this much a reaction. I was a teenager with zero clue how to respond to something like this, she never reported it or ever said anything, if I had reported it would have been with her consent, maybe she did report it later on when she was ready to. I have no clue what it would be like to be in her situation or any rape victim situation, but I can't. Imagine how embarrassed or what emotions would be involved if you were not ready for something like that to come out. Also you're free to believe what you want to believe we are strangers on the internet. Not nearly as drastic as some of these, but on my ex's kick, he was sending other, much prettier, skinnier, girls photos of me sleeping naked. The worst photos I've ever seen of myself. And with all of them, they were making fun of me, calling me fat, ugly, gross. Really fucked me up for a while. Edit. Just making this edit because I'm realizing a lot of my responses are just various thank yous, so I wanted to take the time and say genuinely that I do mean everything I reply with. My heart is very full from reading these, and I do truly wish all of you the best. I wish I could express better how grateful I am for having the courage to actually post this, and for all of you who have responded and even awarded, what? Multiple messages on various chat apps on X's phone. Not just messages to other women but also chatting with teenage girls in explicit and derogatory ways. Also, trying to meet up with a 16-year-old. When confronted he said he was never going to act on any of it. And it was my fault as the relationship was going downhill and he was sexually frustrated. Oh and photos of me naked and passed out, very early in the relationship. I found a plethora of nudes of my friends and several other boys and girls at our high school, including mine, my friends and I never sent him nudes nor did we have any sexual, romantic interest in this person. I assume the same for the others. When I was 21, I was dorming with my best friend we had become best friends in high school, and this was our senior year of college. So we had been living together for 3.5 years at school. Call it seven years of best friendship, one weekend, after a night of drinking with my girlfriend and her two roommates, we returned to the dorm and he went to shower. He kept getting text after text from some random number, no name in contacts so only the digits popping up. I finally went over to silence the phone and it was my girlfriend's number. We had been together three years at that point, my roommate best friend was also super close with her. I never would have thought it was suspicious if she had been texting him. But the fact that he had removed her as a contact so her name wouldn't pop up? So shady. Honestly though, I had a few drinks and was tired so just put it out of mind and went to sleep. Next day I'm hanging with the girlfriend, and she goes to shower. I decide to look at their text messages, basically feeling like a controlling asshole going through her phone but I figured better to assuage my fears than. Let some silly suspicion take up space in my brain. You guessed it. Some. Very graphic texts about them fucking while I was at class, away from campus, etc. My stomach fell out of my asshole. Proud of myself for how I handled it though. I confronted her in her dorm hallway as she was coming back from her shower. Cussed her out something fierce as she kept trying to hush me up and get me out of the hall so she wouldn't be embarrassed. I then texted my best friend, marched right over to where he was studying. She must have texted and warned him because when I got there he just stood up and walked out of the building. I cussed him out something fierce as well, and walked away. As I was going to my sister's dorm, to have a real good cry now that I had confronted those two assholes, I get a text from my now ex-girlfriend. Saying she was so sorry, but would I please mind not telling anyone about what I found out, as it would be super embarrassing for her? I'm an open book, and I was emotionally devastated. So guess what? 
everyone knew what happened. I lost my best friend of seven years, my girlfriend of three years, and a whole lot of mutual friends who decided to overlook what they did and be neutral. But I also had a lot of people stand up for me and cut those two out of their lives. I learned which of my friends were just surface level, and which people I could truly rely on to be honest, moral, dependable, etc. Without a doubt one of the worst days times in my life. Rebuilding after that was brutal. But I wouldn't change a thing. I learned and grew so much. Approximately, eight years later and I have a wife, a home, a career, four pets. I have done tons of work to improve my mental health in the wake of that miserable paradigm shift, and I am honestly happy. I'm genuinely grateful it happened, because if they never decided to try to fuck on me, or worse, if I just never caught them, I probably would have ended up married to that psychopath and spending all my time and energy hanging around with the selfish asshole, best friend, instead of filling my life with all the amazing people and things I have now. A WhatsApp group with the title without my name. Since this blew up so much I will tell the story. So I was at party and this out of some reason a guy had this girl's phone unlocked and showed it to me. He was excluded too by the way. No they were not planning my birthday the just met I saw the chats. They weren't really close friends but still hurts to be excluded. Also thank all of you for this many up votes and answers it's my first time that a answer of mine blew that much. My friend had his own picture as his wallpaper, I was disgusted. 